This is my 2016 and a half, so 2016 new body Chevy Cruze LTRS. And I'll get into that in a minute, what that guy actually stands for. But so this is the same exact thing as a brand new Cruze. This is the, the new body 2016. And we have the 1.4 liter Ecotec. Uh, this thing is bone stock minus the canine and cold air intake, which I made another video on. Uh, we can link it right above if you want to see. Uh, we do what that sounds like, how we install it, all that kind of stuff. So it has a nice luxurious, this car is luxurious, has a nice luxurious underhood carpet. And it also has a luxurious carpet in the back. Let's, um, let's go take a look at that real quick. Like I said, it's luxurious. You're like Chevy Cruze luxurious. Psh, carpet in the front and the back, but here's the part I don't like. It gets moldy around the corners. This one's the worst side. This side also does it over here. Uh, you can easily fix that by removing the carpet, but you're gonna get a lot more wind noise inside. Second thing I don't like about this car, it's got turbo lag, bad. I get it. It's a four cylinder, 1.4 liter, but it's got a tiny turbo on it. And when these guys start tuning these cars, they get rid of that. So GM really dropped the ball. Oh shoot, I want to check the oil before I leave. What? Yeah, hang on. So the hood release, I really do not like about this car. You pull it once, and then it's on the safety and you pull it twice. So my concern with that is you go off and do something because life's busy. You hop back in the car because you're getting ready to leave. It doesn't have a safety latch. You did that from the friggin' driver's seat, basically. See? This is a light hood. The car's aerodynamic. It's gonna fly up and smash your windshield. So you're gonna smash the windshield and damage your hood and maybe go into a tree. Who knows? Why would you ever do that? That makes no sense whatsoever. So, as you can see, it's really cool LED all the way around, it looks fancy, it looks awesome, easy to see, but the regular headlights are these pea yellow, and you can't see anything. So they made this car look super good, put awesome LED accents in it, and then decided, oh, you know what, we're just going to throw regular bulbs in it and call it a day. So, one of the things I don't like, and I think probably the lamest thing GM did with this car is, see how aggressive this front end is? I mean, it's like the Incredible Hulk, and it's a cruise, right? Looks super aggressive, looks good, low to the ground, because it's an RS. So, then you come over here, and they put some crappy base model 16-inch wheels on it. Now you're probably like, ah, oh, somebody swapped them. I've seen so many of these RS's with these wheels on them, hatchback and sedan, that GM did it. It wasn't something somebody swapped. I mean, it's got a nice body kit on the side, and then if you look at the rear, the rear bumper is super aggressive as well. Alright guys, so that is five things I do not like about this car. Six, and that is the car has auto shut off. So when you roll up to a stop sign or a stoplight, it shuts off. Saves fuel economy, everything like that. I get it. So the problem is, is I live in PA, and it can be 100 plus degrees, or it can be negative like 10. So when you roll up, your AC and your heater also shut off. So that 45 seconds that I'm waiting at a stoplight is freaking pure not funness because the AC turns off. So you have to get off the brake. Let the car start back up, get back on the brake, so you can sit there and I'll enjoy a little AC. But the good news is, is you can actually fix most of the things wrong with this car. You can buy LED headlight, just, just the bulb you can put in here. It's gotta be a special one because there's not much room. You can remove the carpet out of the trunk, solve that. You can get off the brake and back on. It's inconvenient, but you can solve that. The, the no booster, like turbo lag from the get-go, you can solve that with a tuner. So you can solve most of the stuff, but why didn't GM just do it from factory? Why? Because it's Chevy. This is why I'm a Mopar guy. I'm gonna stick with Mopar. Bought this, because 
because it was cheap and it was affordable and it was good on gas. So that's why I have it. Just go ahead and buy yourself a Mopar next time.